Now to the Trump presidency, and in just a few hours, President Donald Trump will give the State of the Union address in front of a joint session of Congress and the American people. The White House says his message will be one of unity. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig joins us live from Capitol Hill, where final preps are underway for the big speech tonight. Kenneth? Well, Elliot, good evening to you again from Capitol Hill, where we are now just three hours away from the President of the United States' second State of the Union address. But this is going to be the first one before a divided government. And tonight, he's expected to ask members of Congress to work together. The President of the United States. The stage is set here on Capitol Hill for President Trump's State of the Union address. The President is expected to hit several major themes, including border security. He is as committed today as he's ever been to making sure we get real border security. That includes a wall, uh, and he'll make that case tonight. But the speech comes at a time when there's uncertainty in Washington over whether the government will avoid another partial shutdown. The President says he's not interested in any budget deal from the bipartisan conference committee if it does not include wall money. Stay out of it. Let this let the Senate and House work their way. Senate Republicans have also pulled away from the president recently, speaking out against his suggestion he'll declare a national emergency to get money for the wall. The national emergencies that have been issued in the past have not been contentious. Um, I'm pretty sure that this one would be. President Trump is looking to strike a chord of unity in his speech, but it comes after he sharpened attacks on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in a Sunday interview with CBS Face the Nation. I think Nancy Pelosi is doing a terrible disservice to the people of our country. Tonight, Speaker Pelosi will be seated behind the president next to Vice President Mike Pence. Rising Democratic Party star Stacey Abrams, who lost her bid to become Georgia's governor, will deliver the official Democratic response to the address. And one of the big themes here tonight expected to be immigration and border security and among the invited guests by the White House include several members of the same family whose loved ones were killed allegedly at the hands of an illegal immigrant. Back to you guys. Kenneth, thank you for that live report from Washington. Three Parkland fathers will be among the guests at tonight's State of the Union address. Congressman Ted Deutsch invited Manny Oliver, whose son Joaquin was killed in the shooting. Senator Rick Scott invited Andrew Pollack, Meadows' father. And Jamie Guttenberg's father, Fred, is a guest of Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Other Florida elected officials have invited guests with ties to issues important to our community, including a Venezuelan exile, a DACA recipient, and the wife of a Coast Guard member impacted by the recent government shutdown.